Post-war development will see a fundamental transformation of Ukraine's economy towards green, energy-efficient, and low-carbon technologies. The effective reuse of facilities after the exhibition has closed its doors is a challenge that expos share with most major public events the world over. For these reasons, we believe the expo of the future is the one where nothing is wasted. Following the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development adopted by the United Nations, Odessa Expo 2030 will widen the concept to embrace economic and social sustainability, implementing strategies that tackle energy efficiency whilst improving education and spurring economic growth for the city and the region. The site for Expo 2030 is on the last large plot of land available in the center of the city of Odessa. Thanks to this unique location, Expo will be quickly accessible and fully integrated within the city's vibrant life. Visitors will be able to reach the site in 25 minutes journey from the airport and railway station, 15 minutes from the seaport. 20 minutes journey from Expo will allow them to enjoy the cultural offering of the historical town. A variety of seaside beaches with their exciting nightlife and vast hospitality opportunities are reachable within 15 to 30 minutes drive. The site is organized around five main elements. The main boulevard connects all areas of the expo, opening up to a series of secondary plazas and country pavilions on one side and to the coastal eco-park on the other side, which stretches along the waterfront of Kotze Bay Estuary, plus services and logistics and accommodation for the visitors, participants, and staff. Odessa Expo 2030 will be designed first and foremost with legacy in mind. The Expo Master Plan hinges around a cluster of four central pavilions. After the Expo, these large pavilions will be connected to provide an 80,000 square meters exhibition area supported by the Expo's conference center and hotel, which will become Southern Ukraine's first fair exhibition hub. Once the pavilions have been redeployed elsewhere, the entire expo ground around the fair center will be renaturalized and integrated in the coastal eco-park, becoming a large welcoming park for the people of Odessa. Infinite freedom in the design of each pavilion often means increased construction cost and time, potentially larger embedded carbon and reduced flexibility for the future. Addressing these issues, Odessa Expo will offer to the participating nations the choice of a kit of parts to construct their pavilions. This flexible modular system will allow official participants to present the best of their nations in a practical, creative and visitor-friendly way, enabling them to interpret the Expo theme and present it to visitors by means of each country's unique cultural expression. Each component will consist of roughly one quarter of a standard pavilion of 1,600 square meters footprint and will be combinable with other similar elements to accommodate for each country's desired exhibition area. Via a digital tool called Configurator, participating countries will be able to connect components to form their pavilion and customize the facade design choosing amongst a set of material options with the lowest possible carbon impact. At Legacy Mode, individual Expo participants will be able to transport the modules to their home countries. The components of those pavilions that have been donated by participating countries will be offered as schools, nurseries, surgeries or also subsidized working spaces for Ukraine's booming digital industry. 
Designed to fit on a barge, they will be transported along the coast of the Black Sea and the Dnipro River and delivered to Ukraine's major cities, where they will be recombined into incubators for startups, allowing for the required building depth, adequate daylight, and including additional floors. By adopting modularity and digital design and fabrication methods, this system will ensure Expo pavilions are not only economic to fabricate by the local supply chain quickly and off-site, but also installed on-site in a fast and efficient manner. Combined with Ukraine's own national expertise in digital processes, this modular system will disseminate knowledge, kickstarting future-proofed local building fabrication enterprises. Concrete associated with Soviet-era buildings is one of the construction materials with the greatest environmental footprint. Expo Odessa 2030 will minimize the use of concrete and reuse the demolition material of structures damaged during the conflict. As a way to reinforce the sustainability narrative in a visual way, renewables will be clearly integrated the design of the pavilions. Alongside wind turbines, and connected with a microgrid, they will contribute towards an energy, positive expo site which will be able to not only support its own energy demand, but will supply renewable energy to the local cars, electric buses, and boats. Expo will provide opportunities for lifelong education, improving social equality, well-being and citizen engagement by a public consultation. It will work with local talent, the academic world and cities across the country to integrate their input and represent the imagination and aspiration of the people of Ukraine.